Oh, thank. Hey, David, I, the, I don't know if you still you still read the Wall Street Journal. You or mostly just I do. So, no, you do. OK, good. No, no, your enemy a little bit. But, but um, Milton Friedman laughs last. Uh, and it just goes into not just supply chain, but M2 growth. A and uh, the, the journal points out inflation's nowhere near the levels of, of uh, the Jimmy Carter years. But then um, Bill McGurn does go over a lot of parallels that are starting to look eerily similar. And that it, it, it probably somewhere between the fears of people that, that we're going to revisit those years and people that say it's just transitory and out of this administration's control. You attach any merit to that? You remember uh, Joe Biden at one point said uh, Milton Friedman isn't running the show anymore, is what Biden uh, was a weird thing the journal points out to say about some guy who's been dead for 15 years. Uh, but uh, that was his, uh, Mr. President Biden, shorthand for, you know, his preference for big government and sort of come what may in terms of inflation. The 1970s were a completely different period of time. The U.S. was more insulated as an economy. Uh, about 25% of our workforce was unionized today. It's about half that. We were very dependent on OPEC prices then. We're not as dependent on OPEC prices now. <laughs> so kind of hard, there's... David. <laughs> we're a lot more dependent than we were last year uh, or a year before not as, on, op not as on dependent OPEC. As, not as dependent as we were in the 1970s when we really didn't produce very we much oil there. compared to what we're doing today. How so, about M2 yeah, growth, though? How about M2 growth and just, just looking at what... It, it, what a pure monetarist would, would say about what causes inflation. It's there, the possibility, the potential. Inflation is higher than the Fed would like it and higher than you and I would like it. But I don't think we're going to the 1970s again, in part because the United States economy is much more diversified than it was then. We're not as dependent on uh, foreign oil as we were then. And also, uh, we, we are not as heavily unionized as we were then. And while that's not a bad factor in some respects, unionization is not a bad thing. I, I do think it does have an impact on, on inflation. So overall, I think it's a different situation. But remember, we had 2% inflation for a long period of time. We're slightly above that now. Um, I don't expect we're going to have sustained inflation of 6% or so. So I, I think it's a temporary problem, but it's not, a, it's not something to, to sneeze at. I do think we should uh, pay attention to it, but I don't think it's 1970s all over again. I don't see that at all. When you say temporary, what, what are you talking about? I mean, we've, we've I heard it say, could... I would say I would, expect, I would expect it will be going down from where it is in the latest numbers over the next several months or so. And I would expect six months from now or nine months from now, we'll have inflation at a level that's much closer to where the Fed would like it to be. Are, are the critics who say the Fed is behind on where they should be with the taper correct? I mean, when you look at the purchases that are continuing, it's not even like we're standing pat. We are continuing to buy even as these numbers go up? What's, what would be the problem in suspending the purchases immediately? Well, the Fed is, um, I think, trying to make certain that the COVID is under control and therefore the effects of COVID are, are not with us anymore. And right now, COVID has not been completely er eradicated. Uh, we still have a large percentage of the population that hasn't been vaccinated and may not be vaccinated. And therefore, the economy is not operating as fully as we would like it to be. So the Fed is trying to balance that but the Fed has said it's going to be reducing, if not eliminating, its Fed its bond purchases. And I expect that we're doing that uh, relatively soon. But I don't think it's likely to increase interest rates anytime soon.